like to say thank you so much to our sponsor, BetterHelp, y'all. And we also wanted to give you guys a little bit of advice. So mm -hmm. we have been very open with yeah. you guys. You've seen the ups, the, the downs, downs, and everything in between. Jeez. And now we are happily engaged. And it. <laughs> yeah. But to get here, we had to put in so much work. Mm -hmm. We had to learn so much about ourselves and mm -hmm. each other and just decompress some things that we went through in the past. So one of the ways we did that was by getting therapy on BetterHelp. Yes, and if you feel like you need any help or need somebody to talk to, just head over to betterhelp.com slash easyxnatalie. All you have to do is fill out a few questions and within 48 hours, you will be placed with a licensed professional. Yeah, professional now, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> So guys, give it a try. Go use our link or just choose Easy X Natalie yes. when you go to fill everything out and you will get a special little discount. All right, y'all. So let's get into the video. Boop. What's up, guys? And welcome back to just between us podcast i'm your host ac and i'm natalie Oto. hey man say that y'all see what we doing we got the little corvette corvette how to be like jet like that hey like jet like that don't get me like jet like that hey baby how you feeling the corvette you look good you know summer is upon us yes i'm feeling like you know we got into the summer vibes with the bright orange it's a beautiful day in pasadena my hotel y'all baby we outside of rose bowl if y'all don't know i'm from Pasadena, California, you know what I'm saying? This is where I grew up. Yeah. After this engagement, <laughs> it's leaving your girl like, you know, empty stomach. I don't know why. Something about being engaged oh, wait, makes me what? makes me hungry. Being engaged makes you hungry. Yeah, that's always how... hungry. What are you talking about? Okay, I, I just wanted an excuse to eat, y'all. Get in the car with me, because we're getting inside the car, baby. Let's Come go. on. Let's, let's go. get inside. Let's get it. Oh, uh, my goodness. Gracious Lord. Have mercy on my soul, man. So much has been going on, baby. How's we're it engaged. Feel? Yeah, come on. Oh, my God. We're we're fiancés. We're fiancé and fiancé. Fiancé and fiancé. Like Beyonce. Uh, yup. It was, I mean, like it, then you should have put, put a, a ring, ring on it. And she did. And did. And did. And do. And will. And then I did it back. Type shit. You know what, what? I'm saying? What? Hey. What? I don't know. Wait, let's get into it. Wait, baby, hold on. Slow down. Re -re 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 reverse, 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 reverse. So much has been happening, and I don't know if y'all been keeping up. We didn't got engaged. I proposed to Natalie. Natalie proposed back to me. I dropped some music. You I dropped, dropped Black Khaleesi. She dropped her very first song, Black Khaleesi, y'all, streaming on all platforms. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm streaming on Twitch. Thirty For 30 days, she's been going live every single day, y'all. Every okay. day on Twitch. And not just going live, been doing some lit challenges. So Come make on. sure y'all check that out. Tap in, tap in, y'all. We've been going crazy. And I'm just like, how do we do it? I don't know. How do you do it? <sighs> With you by my side? Hey. Twin. Yeah, very yeah. like this. Ain't no switching. <laughs> oh, baby, I like that answer. That was so beautiful. It's so true, though. It's yeah. so true. We honestly talk about that all the time. Mm -hmm. How literally, like, I feel like we're so much more. Is that our food? Oh, our oh. our food just got here, y'all. <laughs> our, our food just, just got, got here. <laughs> the guy just walked over. Um, excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> Natalie. Is that what he said? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to eat. I know, I'm starving. They look like they're related. That's racist. Anyway, they can't see they race. What y'all anyway. think they are? Th thank you, thank you. All right, have All a right. good one. Later. 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 Okay. All right, so I wanted to finish what I was saying because I thought that was, like, something that they would love to hear about our conversation that we had that the other morning when we were in bed. And I was just like, we have been so busy, y'all. Yes. Like I said, literally getting engaged and then working nonstop, working mm -hmm. on music, working on clothing brands and all this. And, like, lately I feel like we've been even more busy than usual. Mm -hmm. And I've been just feeling like, oh, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. And, we, and I'll be downstairs, baby. Literally, but we wake up mm -hmm. and... And then the whole day we're gone doing our things, working and stuff. And then we go to sleep. Yeah. And that's so it's when we wake up and go to sleep that we get to spend enough time together or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I also but I feel like the how hard we work, it brings us closer and yeah. makes me feel like even more in love with you. So, hey, baby, chill out. Your mama over there. 
She loves that for us. She do love that for us. Huh? Yeah. Look at her. So tell me, baby. Tell me what. <laughs> like, tell me. Tell them. Tell them what went into proposing to me. And yeah, like, Ooh. I want to know. I want to know the details the behind the scenes. The behind the behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, I, I filmed the whole production for it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I feel like mentally where I was at, I knew that you're supposed to be my wife. I felt Aww. like I wanted to skip the process of proposing. You know what I'm really? saying? Yeah, because I just felt like we deserve that. You deserve that. So you just wanted to go straight into straight to marry it. me right now. Right now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that. I literally feel like you were worth that. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So my thought That's process. That's crazy. So what changed, though? Because I remember that one episode of our podcast. I do. You didn't seem like you was ready to, like, take such a big leap with mm-hmm. me. I feel like. Once we, which we've talked about multiple times, mm-hmm. we've evolved so much yeah. to where it's like, Gaiat, you yeah. know, like you've shown me you, like so many different sides of you where you love me. You have shown like so much growth. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The growth is where it's really at and it lies. And I felt like after that growth process between yourself and in this relationship, yeah. it changed my mind mentally, emotionally and spiritually to where I was just like, all right, it's, I'm ready to pop that question, you know? And when I actually did, or when I bought the ring, which was, you know, months before, I was just like, oh my God, I'm nervous. And then we, we oh, I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say it. I don't even want to say it. But it was just so many different emotions, but I knew that, you were my soulmate we've already come to terms with that I knew you're my person you know but I was just like I gotta pop it I gotta pop lock and drop it you know so let me ask this like (laughs) just between us just between us because y'all she didn't say it but she told me that she actually had the ring and knew she was gonna propose Mm -hmm. for months like Mm -hmm. last since last year yeah and I just want to know, just between us, what was there any moments of doubt before proposing? Because that's a long time mm. in between to, like, wait. So it wasn't yeah. like you had enough time to really wrap your mind around, like, am I ready to make be committed forever right. to this woman, you know? <sighs> Honestly, mm-hmm. you know, there was one moment that I had one moment and one moment only. Okay, tell me what moment it was. I could probably guess, but tell them. Th- that's what I was literally going to say, and I was like, I don't even <laughs> want to ruin this moment right here. Is that mine? Yeah. Or is it yours? Or is it mine? Let's we'll see who's about to get a whooping. It's yours. Oh, oops. Oopsies, I made up oopsies. I'd like a whooping. <laughs> chill baby chill i had to get your attention because you're looking you. at your phone too, too long. long too long baby what was it i forgot god leave so, oh, okay okay yeah. so there was there was one moment mm-hmm. where i felt like damn do i really want this and it was that moment we were downstairs and we got into it and i wait at our old house or our new house our new house oh and we were weeks before like a couple weeks before the proposal oh i know you was like god we got into an argument where I felt unheard mm. and I felt like my emotions weren't being catered to and it felt like we were reverting. Mm. And I had to, at that moment, I felt like, oh, like, here we go again. You know, but I had to realize after the whole conversation with us both, like, you know, meeting somewhere at a at a good, at a good space, yeah. I had to realize mentally like these moments are still, it could possibly still happen. Yeah. We're not perfect. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I can't let my mind, like, backtrack and belittle all of our effort and yeah, our work. And be like, here we go. Yeah. And yeah. I felt like I did that and I felt like that was unfair to you mentally. Like, you know, you didn't know everything I was thinking, but I just felt like, damn, that's that's unfair to all her hard work and all the, the work that I've been preaching to her. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But that moment did kind of make me feel like, whoa shit. Yeah. You know? Little... And I feel like that's like a really amazing thing that we've learned in mm-hmm. this relationship for all of y'all couples out there mm-hmm. or somebody who, you know, whatever you plan to be in a relationship. I think not belittling or blowing each thing out of proportion, at mm-hmm. least for us, that has been a huge game changer for us. We used to blow every time we would get into an argument out of proportion yeah. and be like, now we're questioning the relationship. Do we want to mm-hmm. be with each other? See, this is why I can't do this. Oh, the, you always doing this using words like always and never, never are just words that will kill your relationship. And don't don't do so that. We, we try yeah, do that. No, please don't do that. Right. No, please don't do that. <laughs> and and when it comes down to it, like understand that sometimes you might 
y'all are gonna slip up. Mm-hmm. You might, you might, uh, past habit that you used to have might try to, you know, make its appearance, and then you just gotta be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, get Real back that to your place, that shit in the butt, and reel it in. And moral of the story, y'all, please, like, really don't just x out your relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, type shit. Cause we 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 done made it through the wilderness. How's that song? Made, made it, it through. through. <laughs> I you never heard the song before. I got I you, baby. So I found you. I think that's a, is that from Shrek? No. What are you talking about? It's a song. What song? I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Y'all go clip the song and let her know. Made it through the wilderness. Yeah, I made it through. I didn't know how lost I was until I found you. Now y'all see why I'm rapping and not singing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, baby. Oh, my God. Oh my Wait, God. if you guys are just listening to this podcast right yes. now, make sure y'all head over to YouTube and watch it as well because, listen, we're in an orange, beautiful Corvette. Come on now. This thing is drop top. Drop top. Get into the summer vibes with us. Summer vibes, baby. Wait, hold up. Swole up. What, baby? Let me take this off. Speaking yeah. of. Get it. Get it. It is kind of hot, y'all. We trying to look the fuck good, and we fucking hot. Shit, that's I think that's what it is. I'm motherfucking hot. Over I'm hungry. Sweating. Let me get help I'm me. Sorry. Calm down, uh, crazy. Help. Uh, help. Oh, uh, we did it. We oh did it, God, I feel so much better. Oh my God, we were literally. Uh, let's put it. Oh my God, y'all see it? Y'all people drip. Uh-huh. Black Khaleesi Jet, you feel me? That's they Come on supporting. Now. She got you my face on her back. I think you really, really are about to start trends. After proposing to me, I really think you're about to set a trend, especially in the gay community. Listen. Like, especially, like, I never heard, I'm not saying it hasn't been done. But it's but not, it's, like, often. It's yes, not it's trend. not common that people propose back to people. That's you great. What? Wait, what, go ahead. Go, tell no, me. You know, what, I'm just saying, baby, that shit made me feel so good. Like, I felt like worth it. You know what I'm saying? I felt like, damn, I you getting on one knee for me, I'm the masculine presenting one. I'm the more dominant one. You know what I'm saying? It just yeah. felt like, wait, you want to get on one knee and propose? I was so emotional, but go ahead. T- talk them through just in case. Like, I want to know what you were thinking and yeah. what made you do that. So for, you know, for the newcomers here or anyone that didn't see our whole little, like, situation. Come on now. Big one. We, I did my big one, okay? Indeed. So Indeed. I proposed back to Easy. And honestly, what made me do it was exactly what you said you felt. I wanted you to feel just as special as you made me feel. Mm-hmm. And I wanted you to feel like... You know, Princess E. There she go but with this also, shit. Also, like Big Daddy. You Ooh. know what I'm saying? Like, and you are at the end of the day, you're a woman, and you, the type of woman you are, is you're very dynamic. You aren't just one thing. You aren't just always in your masculine, which I love that about you. You also are in your feminine sometimes, and I felt like that part of you needed to be proposed to, and. I could get just hot talking about it because I just pictured, like, the younger version of you and thinking, like, well, she might have had dreams of being proposed to at one point before Damn. she knew I'm going to be the masculine. Because you weren't always masculine presenting, you know, and you didn't always even date women. So I had my days. I was fucking and thinking. Mm, you did. I did. You did. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure that that part of you was being fulfilled as well. And you also kept saying, like, you know, I, I feel like I could, you would ask me, like, do you feel like a fiancé? And I'd be like, yes. Like, and, you know, I got this rock on my finger. Of course I feel like a fiancé. Bussin'. And then, you know, she didn't even have her ring yet. And I'd be like, what about you? And she's like, well, you know, I felt like that day was about you. Like, I just wanted you to feel special. And I was just like, oh, wow, yeah, I got to propose back because I need you to feel like you have a day for one. And I need you to feel special and excited about our union. So, no, baby. That's why I did it, and it ended up working out perfectly. So it was pretty much immediately after you proposed to me, I knew that I wanted to propose back. And I started planning immediately with your best friend and yeah. my best friend. That's and so amazing, baby. Wow. I, yeah. Wait, but 
But like, do you think that you're going to start a trend in the lesbian community where people propose back? I hope so. I hope so. I too. hope so because you know what? I feel like we people, should we not deserve be it. yes, and we should not be allowing um, the roles of a relationship to dictate what you do for your partner right. and dictate yeah. how special you make your partner feel. Mm. If now, if you feel like your partner wouldn't like that, that's different. There's some some people are too masculine. A lot of men. Like don't not even too masculine, but they feel more comfortable in their masculine. Yeah. So they would they wouldn't really that might th- make them feel uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. But if you feel like your partner, there's any chance that your partner would like just be excited or happy or touched by that, then mm-hmm. think about doing it. Like, I, listen, girl, I was down on a, one knee on a concrete in a in a beautiful gown, and, did. and I and did, and I would do it again just That's to awesome. see how happy you felt and how just important you felt. And I wanted you to know, like, I'm committed to being your wife, and I'm committed to making you feel just as special as you make me feel all the time. Like, we in this together, and I yeah. I never foresaw that for myself like I never thought I was gonna have to do those type of things and but I'm happy to yeah I'm happy too baby I think that it should be mandatory it's mandatory now moving forward Natalie has set the record okay you have to propose back and it has to be within 30 days you got a 30 day notice a 30 day notice and if you don't propose back that means the person really wasn't interested in you because some people probably propose and obviously we knew i proposed knowing that you were gonna say yes because we're we're that connected we're that locked in. you know we're that locked in but type shit you feel me but some people they might not be and they'd be like oh my god but if she doesn't propose yeah. back to you, mm, that or he be, doesn't propose back to you, that's an interesting concept. You feel me? Then that means that, she wasn't that, really that committed, come or on he now. wasn't that committed, or he, you know, that thirty days is coming. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like everyone's different. Everybody that, is. Everybody so is. you can't expect everyone to want that or want to do that. Mm-hmm. So, but I do think like it was just a special moment for us. Mm-hmm. And y'all, I actually did it for her birthday and her grandma's birthday. Yes. So. Her grandma who passed, her birthday's on May 10th, and mm-hmm. everything that Easy does for Zane Gray is committed in, for, in honor of her grandma. So mm-hmm. it was just such a special day to do it on. I proposed her on May 10th through a whole birthday party. It was a grown and sexy birthday dinner. You're such a vibe, baby. I'm so grateful for, for you and to have you. And then I proposed back. Tell them, tell them how I did it. Tell them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to teach you on horn, but baby, they hurt shit. <laughs> Yo, y'all got some, the expectations are so high. Like, yeah, yeah. Man, with the, when it came to the whole Last Supper dinner table thing, mm-hmm. I was like, sheesh. Like, yeah. sheesh. Yeah. And the, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying, baby? I just felt like the way you did it, it's like, oh, my God, you didn't even have to do all that. And I didn't expect it. Like, the whole, like, if y'all didn't see the whole YouTube video, when I tell y'all they came up with this whole ESPN hosting that I was supposed to be hosting, the WNBA and Angel Reese and all the basketball players were going to be there. So they were I like, you got to. too much, huh? It was a lot, baby. Okay. It was a lot, okay? Right. Yeah. So then I go to, they got me going to Chris's house because we were supposed to do a rehearsal for the hosting. I get there. The host. The rushing ho- out the house. At rushing that. out the house. I get there. The her- rehearsal got pushed back a couple times but they're like you know what I'm gonna send you an email and we trust you they broke down this whole email that we trust y'all just get ready to interview these players meanwhile we came up you with and Carla the, yes literally came up with the entire, entire email. email I was like oh my god y'all detail for detail it was like jeez <laughs> so I'm like okay bet it comes down to it when it comes down to the actual hosting she's like oh yeah I invited Natalie and I'm like what like, because I guess Alexis was going. So I'm like, oh, okay, bet. So we could, you know, I guess maybe you want to, you know, meet Angel Reese too. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be Liddy Two Titties, your wife here, my my girl here. Let's get it pop like and drop it. So we head back to my house to go pick up Natalie. And then that's when I knew that's some I shit knew. was happening. But I still didn't know I was about to get proposed to. The only reason why I knew something was happening, because I see my videographer. He was right at the car. So I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> like, I'm thinking immediately, like, wait, my birthday until t- Mother's Day, till Sunday. Right. Why this was are we a couple meeting? days before on the 10th, on, on the your 10th. grandma's and birthday. And I'm not thinking about my grandma's birthday. I thought about my grandma's birthday, but I'm not thinking about why people are on moment. her. Exactly. Yeah. Pull up. It's like, boom, 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 boom. Baby did her shit, and it was just absolutely amazing. Phenomenal. 
she outdid herself and we ate. My family members was there. It was just, oh my God, the food was just busting, man. All her favorite soul food. What? I had fried chicken, mac and cheese, greens, beans, rice, peas, all that, y'all. And when I tell you, it felt like the first supper, not the last supper. Mm, I was like. The first supper of the rest of our lives. Take shit, baby. Aww. Man, it was amazing. And then I'm still thinking, I'm getting lit. I'm getting drunk. Your sister's like, oh, you shouldn't drink too much. I'm like, bitch, I'm at my house. Exactly. I'm going to get lit. Like, literally, you would not know, y'all. If you have not seen the video, go watch it after yes. you finish this episode of this podcast. It did not look we, like we were at. We were at this expensive venue is what a game. I should have did that for your proposal because, damn. Mm. Yeah, it, it saved it looked, me a lot of money. It, it looked good, though. It, it looked, looked no, amazing. I, I know you dropped a bag, though. I know. We might have honestly. Nah. I don't know. Keep it classy. It was expensive, yeah. but you're worth it. So, okay, it. so my sister's telling you, girl, don't drink too me, much. Yes. Did you think anything then? Did you think, like, no? I, well, why? I thought your sister was just trying to look out because we're recording. Oh, and I'm like, we cut this drunk shit out, but we'll leave it in because it's my birthday. If I'm too drunk, at least I'm home. Exactly. But then it clicked why she said it later. You know what I'm later saying? Later after it happened. Okay. Exactly. So we're we're having a good time. We're dancing. It's a vibe. Now it's like, we're going to cut the cake, cut the cake. She gets everybody around the same old birthday. Smurf day type stuff. We sing the happy birthday. To Wait, you. did any part of you think it was weird though? Whenever because we didn't put candles in the cake. No, I didn't. So and I was like, we're not gonna light the cake first. We're gonna sing happy birthday first because no. I, I was nervous. I'm not gonna lie. No. I thought, Okay. Not even a not even a hair. I wasn't even close to it. And the reason why I say that is because I know somebody messed up the cake last time, like on a birthday. So I'm thinking the candles. Perfect. I'm thinking like, okay, she don't want the candles or whatever in this cake because it says my grandma's birthday and it says my birthday. So I totally understand that. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. So good. Should I tell them are you gonna reveal the reason why we didn't put candles? Oh, I'm about to tell her, baby. Okay, tell her. I tell her. Okay. Okay, I got you. Look, so look, she's like, okay, baby, so you just put the light in the middle. And I'm like, what you mean? Like, put the light in the middle. Like, light it. Like, use the lighter. Exactly. Mm -hmm. She used the lighter and put it in the middle. And she's like, grab the lighter and put it in the middle. And it's going to, it's going to, like, you know, it's going to do something. And I'm yes, like, it's going to do something cool. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. So I'm trying to light the damn cake. And I'm trying to back up because I had that synth I didn't have synthetic. It wasn't synthetic. It was human. But I was lit and I was making sure it wasn't synthetic. But I didn't want my hair to come on, catch on fire. You know what I'm saying? So I had to back up. Sure. Right, right, right. Right, touch right, it, right. touch it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm lighting the candle. I'm like, what is it supposed to do? I ain't never seen that in my life. Right. So I like the, the cake. cake. Right. I like the, the cake. The actual cake. Actual cake. I like the cake. And in the center of the cake, it starts <laughs> cinematically evaporating. Yeah. Right before my eyes. The whole top layer of the cake. And I'm so damn lit. All I see is myrrh. I said, myrrh. It's an M-A-R. I'm like, myrrh. Myrrh Christmas. I didn't even see Mary. And I you just know said, Mary is M-E-R-R. -R. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I just see like, myrrh. She lit. She lit. She I'm lit. a little she lit. lit. Right. I was a little lit. So I see myrrh. So I made a joke. I was like, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I and I'm like, like, leave it to easy. She's about to get proposed to and she's literally making jokes throughout the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> no, baby. I'm literally like, Merry Christmas. You know what I'm saying? And then I look at it and it's like upside down. So I got like, Merry, marry me too. And I look mm -hmm. at Natalie and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> that is not yeah. what I did. <laughs> But she slowly gets on one knee. And I'm like, ain't no fucking way. Natalie Odell yeah. is on one knee yeah, yeah. proposing to me. That's not mm -hmm. daddy. You thought, am yeah. I too drunk? Like, is this really happening? Am Man. I dreaming? No, I instantly was like, that's not daddy. Yeah, literally. Look that at her. Action. Look at her go. That's what I thought. That was literally her reaction. Mm -hmm. She's like, Dad, Daddy, look at that, Daddy. Like, literally, like, no one else could see what was happening, telling everyone, make sure you look. It oh was so God. cute. It was beautiful. It was amazing. And then once I really, like, like it sunk in what was happening, because I was just so, like, there's no Shot. way. Like, <laughs> what? Did y'all see what I'm seeing right now? Like, I couldn't believe it. And then once I started hearing her talk, I just started getting emotional. And I just couldn't help it, man. I just, that whole princess, he done came out, baby. Yeah. She done came out. Yup, yup. And then, and he was just, he was just saying some beautiful stuff, baby. Like, wow. 
It was so special. Oh, I can't kiss, can't kiss. I'm mm. not gonna lie. What? Talking about the food at the party though got me starving. You ready to eat I'm our ready, food? Man. I'm ready. Oh my God! Ooh, hallelujah! Hallelujah! Baby, I was starting to get hangry. I'm not gonna lie. I know. Me this too. Time. I was like, yeah, this is crazy. We're literally sitting bacon in the sun, Man, malnourished, thirsty, thirsty. But our food is here. It's here, baby. We got we can be bacon and shaking, y'all. So all right, got, show them what, what you bacon. got. So you, this is all vegan food, mind vegan. you. Okay, okay, so Easy got a um, cauliflower orange. Why are you touching my chicken like that? <laughs> It's cauliflower. Oh, cauliflower, orange cauliflower chicken okay. bowl with some rice and broccoli and rice stuff and like peas. that. Mm, no peas. Okay. Carrots. Got it. Okay. Let me show you what I got. Okay. Okay. I got a few things. We just got a bunch of like random stuff. stuff that look good. You know when you're hungry and you kind of like over order. I think that's what just happened. Get into these. Get, oh show my god. Them my show them the fries. They loaded it. Can hell. you see? Put it in mine. Can you see? Show them mine. All right. Get into these loaded fries, y'all. Oh. We also got like this bowl. So this is like teriyaki chicken, some like a cucumber salad, and then this is like some type of sushi, vegan sushi. I say seven out of ten. I'm trying to figure out what they mean this chicken out of. It's giving. It's giving real chicken. Not completely, but close. Just between us, was there any part of you that wanted to say no when I proposed to you? I'm not gonna lie. Wait a damn minute! No! <laughs> oh, you just full of shit. Huh? <laughs> No, well, okay, let me say this, let me say this, no, I didn't, there was no part of me that wanted to say no, but if there was going to be any part of me, you ain't got to think about it, you ain't got to think about it, if, if there was, no, there's no, no, there's a little, there's some, there's some little thing Something? that could have, I just want to, I don't know, make it a little juicy, really, what, mm -hmm. okay, all okay, right, no, well. there's, there, first of all, I want to make it clear, there was still no part of me that wanted to say no, okay, but if there was going to be a part of me that wanted to say no. Did you think about it or you were just mm -mm. trying to think about no. something that could have made you say no? I mean, I did think about this and it was a huge thing for me. But like in the moment when you proposed, it wasn't a thought. Okay. You know well, what I'm saying? Wait, what is it? What is it? But uh, leading up to like kind of the time frame, like I kind of felt like it was like I didn't know when you were going to propose or anything like that. But we just both knew, like you said, you knew I would say yes. It's because like we could feel that it's that time for us. Right. And one of my biggest concerns that I would think about often was, like, your relationship with my family. And specifically my brother, because it wasn't really my family in general. It was just, like, you guys having butting heads for all those years on and off. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted peace for us, for our life. Mm -hmm. I wanted peace for your life, like, in general. Mm -hmm. For all of us, like, and I just felt like if y'all couldn't figure that out, no matter how much we love each other, we just going to be, what, in love, married, engaged, having children and stuff in a toxic environment. Like, right. that just was like, I can't do that, I you know? Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Wow. Well, well, then how did you feel not knowing that I was going to propose to you so you also didn't know that I had a whole conversation with your brother? Mm -hmm. How did that make you, like, what did that make you feel, you know? Or how did it make you feel seeing, like, yo, okay, she had a whole conversation with my brother, you know what I'm saying? And it wasn't out of, all right, Natalie had a conversation with me, so I'm going to talk to him. It's something, obviously, that I'm doing on my own. Yeah. So how did that make you feel? So him? much more sure about us. Mm. So much more sure. Like, it made me... I was like, wow, first of all, you, I saw so much growth in you and that action. I was like, <clears throat> she is mature enough now to be my wife. She is like, she, she sees the bigger picture enough now, as far as like the amount of peace that we need to, to not just move forward, but to genuinely be happy. Cause people be trying to force situations all the time. Yeah. And then it's like, but the, was forcing it worth it because now y'all are both miserable. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like 
you doing that showed me your commitment to our future and the happiness of our future. Mm -hmm. You know, not just to me, but to our future together and what that future looks like. And I just, you know, in that moment, I just said, we gonna be all right. We gonna be more than all right. Every little thing is gonna be all right. Get into one of these jalapeno poppers. No. You know, oh. All right, I'll try it myself. My baby got a gag reflex. (laughs) Yeah, I can't tell you the amount of times where that has happened where she gets like sick. Yeah, it's like sick. It's the cream. Like it's too oily. If anything is too oily or or creamy, which it might not taste like it didn't taste anything to me. It's just her like creamy consistencies. Like she can't eat creamy consistencies. Yeah. All right, so look at these jalapeno poppers. Let's try one. Hmm. It's giving okay. It's giving. It's okay. Don't don't lie. I think it has like a tempura outside. Okay. This might be my first time having a jalapeno popper. Baby, you have rice all over your shirt and your hair. You have a big chunk of rice. <laughs> How long has it been there? I don't know. Babe. Oh, my black crazy shirt. No, no, no. This was yours, though. Mine is. No way. Yeah. No. Yeah, you put mine on? Mm-hmm. It was easier to We're about to switch. No. Yeah. No. No one told you to wear my black crazy shirt while you over here dropping rice on you? Do you think? Now that I've, you know, feel like I leave a mountain and squash these with your family, do you think our families are genuinely happy? Because, like you said, there's been this roller coaster with our families, or at least my, me with your family. Right. Do you feel like our families are genuinely happy for us to be married? I mean, or do you, do you think our families are genuinely happy for us to be engaged? Absolutely. Yeah. I do. Really? There's nobody that I feel like isn't actually happy. Honestly, I feel like even my brother, in moments, I feel like my brother is, like, might be the, like, the most happy. Well, not more happy than my mom, but, like, he's, like, and you would think because of, like, you know, the bumpy roads that y'all traveled down. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that conversation, y'all really did your thing with that one because it feels like that is really put behind us. And I think the seriousness of us now being engaged has brought a different energy to an environment, to the situation where everyone is just more, y'all, I feel like you feel more like family with my family and they feel more like family with you. Mm -hmm. I think that it has inspired, even with your family, I think it's inspired your family too, to even like kind of get closer with us, with me, with you, with my family like even at like little family gatherings i'm all talking and hanging out more and stuff just between us we're not gonna tell nobody okay all right okay who do you think is the happiest for us out of my family and your family or like Um, in life like what do you mean out of both families out of both families i'm gonna choose my family you choose your family okay I think the happiest person in my family for us to be engaged is my grandpa. Your grandpa? My grandpa Garfield. Him crying at the engagement? Bruh. A lot of people didn't even catch that. Grandpa Garfield was crying. It was the sweetest thing. Um, I didn't even know he was crying. We didn't know until we Watched saw the, the edit. Yeah. yeah. He was genuinely crying. And that was like, so touching. And it's not even him crying. It's just the way that he talks, the way that he just acts. And, like, I don't know. He just, I just feel like he's probably the happiest. That's what I feel. Yeah. yeah my grandpa I can see that. You know? Mm-hmm. Okay, what about you? What about your family? What, what do you think is genuinely the most happiest? My mom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hands down. Mm-hmm. I think my mom, like, <clears throat> the fact that she flew out here back to back within like such a short period of time literally five and a half hour flights like just hopping on a plane at like last minute like for you for me proposing to you was the day of she booked her ticket the day before Mm -hmm. that she has shown so much commitment to our relationship 
so much like pure joy, happiness, I've been so involved and just excited. And I just feel the genuine just happiness to see us both happy. Yeah. And I also feel like she feels closer to you as well. Yeah. Like us getting engaged. Like it's mm-hmm. like, wow, they really do love each other. Like this is for real, you know? Aww. It's like like being able to if there was any guard up or it was like, oh, she's gonna hurt my daughter, I feel like that is she put that guard down if if there was one, you know? Mm-hmm. Look at her. She don't even know we talk about her. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Who do you think is the least happiest in our family? What? I don't think anyone's not happy. There gotta be one person. That's messy. I don't think anyone's not happy. Man, I really we, think everyone's happy. If we think or say even like a night, All right, wait. our family's going to go crazy. Exactly. You trying to other? set us up for the okie doke. Are you kidding me? Wait, okay. <laughs> Who do you think is the happiest out of our friends? <laughs> Let's say at the same time. Ready? One, two, three. Jazz. <laughs> for sure. Jasmine. Jasmine. Jazz Avery is definitely the happiest out of all of our friends for sure. And she's she's my friend now too. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Jazz was your friend and she, you know, she adopted me mm-hmm. as a best friend. You know what I'm saying? She's so like she's a perfect friend. She's so perfect. And I love I wish everybody had a Jasmine. Unfortunately, you guys don't know. But <laughs> find you one because she's a what a real true friend. That's the definition of a true friend. And I'm not saying that my other friends aren't, but I'm like, get you a Jazz. She's definitely the happiest for us. Yeah, there's literally no extent that I feel like Jasmine would not go to mm-hmm. for me. Like, <clears throat> she's like my sister. You know what I mean? Like, more than a best friend. Like, Oh, what did Harmony say this morning? Uh, Harmony, I get I do my makeup. I look all pretty. And she's like, nah, nah, you look like Jazzy. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Harmony, everyone says that. Yeah. And she was like, do you look like Jasmine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I think we do. <laughs> How did you find a best friend that you look like? That tends to happen, but y'all, that's that's crazy. We didn't even know we looked alike until, like, it was our first time hanging out. And we were getting lunch on South Beach. And we, like, go to take a selfie together. And when I go to look at it, I thought she was me and I was her. And then I was like, oh, wait, no, because we had different clothes on. Mm-hmm. I was like, girl, I did not know who was who at first. And she was like, wait, what? And we, like, zoomed in. We were like, we kind of look alike, huh? All right, baby. Okay, baby, what's happening? What's just happening? between us. Ooh, I love these Just Between Us podcast little segment. Mm-hmm. Me too. It's you juicy. wrote this. Mm-hmm. Us. Andy. Andy. Okay. What is one thing that you would like, and you could say anything, mm. what is one thing that you would like for me to change about myself before becoming your wife? Absolutely nothing. Keep it 100. Just between us. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't be knowing when you really be like saying, like, do I really do it or I really don't do it? But you want me to say, really do? I don't be doing that. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? Um, I think the only thing, if I can think of something... Which I, I can't. I really can't, though. <laughs> sure. Yeah. But if I had to dig up something, <laughs> it, it would be, but I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But if I had oh to. Oh, my God. Spit what? it out. <laughs> um, if I had to change something before we get married, I would say your, do you know what I'm going to say? Do you have a feeling? Yes. You do? I'm not going to guess, though. Tell okay. me, and I'll okay. tell you if it was right. Okay. I would say one thing is that you are very amazing and beautiful. <laughs> oh, my <and> God. <laughs> you going to make these people think I'd be abusing you? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like, no. She's terrified. She's petrified. No, no, no. I'm not, guys. Link once. <laughs> Stop. No, no, no. Seriously, though, honestly, it's really not much, but I do feel like sometimes, baby, which you know, you have a very strong personality. You sometimes are a little argumentative. You're you you little bit are you a little bit argumentative, you know what I'm saying? And you like to have the last word with certain things. Mm-hmm. So w- with that being who you are as a person, <laughs> it's a great quality cuz I like how outspoken you are and I love just how yes, she just speaks up for herself. But sometimes it's a little too much. That's it. Sometimes it's a little too much. It's but it's all, usually often more than not. 
you know, but I could deal more with it. More often than not. Yes, it we is. We just told them not to use those words. I said, I didn't say always. I said, I changed it to more often than not. Because, but it's not obvious. I wanted to propose to you. You know what I'm saying? There's obviously things that you're never going to be perfect. But you're perfect to me. You know what I'm saying? But if I had to change those things, that's probably it. You know, my little less ratty matty. It would be so less. much less arguments. And I don't want you to be a, a yes me type of bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, and I don't want you to feel you got to walk on eggs. Like, okay, let me not respond because easy going to flip out. No, it's just like sometimes <laughs> if I'm like, sometimes if I'm literally like, baby, we ain't got to do this. And you'd be like, okay, we don't. We don't have to do this. Bro, that would turn me on so much. That look at her, look at her face. She don't even know what that means. Look at her. No, that's she's not like, why I'm laughing. She's a, that's oh. not why I'm laughing. Cause watch hers be. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. Ah! Listen. Good. I'm listening. Like, cause I feel like for me, there's moments when I could tell I'm being argumentative, and I be knowing it. Mm -hmm. And then there's moments where I'm like, all right, I just don't feel like it. I know she don't want me to do this, so let me just be like, all right, baby. Okay. Yeah. Or whenever um she feels a certain way, if she tell if you tell me you feel a certain way, I have I try my best to acknowledge that feeling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like, okay, I can't get hurt that she's hurt and it, it triggers me, but I have to take in what she feels and literally, okay, this is what she feels and it has to be right because she's feeling that in the moment. So mm -hmm. let me try to cater that feeling right now. Okay. You on the other hand because you're so outspoken and you always have something to say too, I think it also makes you feel like, like it hurts your feelings that you might feel them to hurt, you know? Mm. So, or I'm, because I'm mad, you're mad that I'm mad at you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you're mad that I'm mad at, mad at you because of something you did. You know right. what I'm saying? Like the other night on the stream or whatever. But other than that, it still wasn't anything worth towards like our relationship is like failing. You know, but if it was one little thing, that would be the little, 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 little thing. Um, what do you think about that? I can, you know, I can work on being less. <laughs> I can look at her. Look at her. Look at my baby. Stop. It's so hard for her. Go ahead, baby. You got this. Because you know what? What, baby? I can. I can work on that. <laughs> You don't I even can, believe it. I wait. First of all, don't take it away from me. Okay, I do mean it. I said I, believe it. I do believe it. Okay. Um, I can definitely work on being less argumentative. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. You could do that. Yeah, I, I'll just walk away. <laughs> turn the other. I'll cheek. just turn the other cheek. But don't just turn the other cheek, baby. You got to actually understand. Like, okay, this. I is do understand. I, it's funny. The reason why I was laughing is because I feel like exactly what you described is something that, like, I would say I would want from you, too. I feel wow. like we both do struggle with that. Ooh. And which is, it's not like you said, it's not like some huge extreme where it's like all the time. But we'll have our moments where we both are just being argumentative. And then we'll, you know, and I think it's very much both of us. But I'm not going to even use the same thing what for what I would So you got change. to say that you want to change that, but just since I used it, you're going to say something else too. N no, I'm going to, I just want to, I'm not going to choose that. You can't do that. Yes, I can. Because you can't, That that's just like, all right, if you told me. Like, I'm okay, not going to choose it. Okay. You can't do that. Rewind baby. it then. <laughs> Rewind. That's like you literally say, all right, you if you went first, I'm like, yeah, I will actually change that about you too. That's crazy, but I'm not going to choose that one. I got another <laughs> one for you. Okay, <laughs> I see where you're coming from, but. I didn't think of that, and I wouldn't have said it if I thought that was going to be the case. <laughs> That's too. I'm not choosing that. Okay, choose. Choose. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're so difficult. All right, if I oh, had to your... choose, okay. your if I had to choose, you choose baby? something that I would change, I would change, I would um, want you to, I would want you to put your pride aside more. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think that you think my pride and ego are the same thing. Yes. Okay. Okay. But okay. Yeah, I would want you to put your pride aside more. I think mm. that when it comes to, I think you are right about me. I can be very like argumentative and strong-willed and stuff like that, and it's because of that that I can be argumentative because I'll be like, wait, like it's not like I'm just arguing for no reason. I'm usually arguing my point, <laughs> um, but. <laughs> 
Stop. I love You're not you. taking me seriously. No, I am. You're so authentically yourself. Like, that's what I love okay, about you. Okay, can I get you. to my point? Get to your point, what you hate about me. Go. <laughs> that was that was so narcissistic of me. Sorry. So, um, is this a safe space? <laughs> this is safe. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is safe. Okay. I'm so sorry, baby. Go ahead. So, I, I, like I was trying to say, I think that what I would change would be, like, you putting your pride aside more. Because, like I said, I can be argumentative, but I think when it comes to us making up or doing, going the extra mile to, like, do well in a conversation or argument that's tough, mm-hmm. I feel like I see myself usually being the one putting to put my pride aside. Whereas for you, I think it's a little harder for you to put your pride aside mm. for to for a good outcome of in that moment. Mm. And then it'll be like, you know. Mm-hmm. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. So okay. that's one thing that I think would be helpful is like if you also, you know, like did it as much as I feel like I have to do it. Right. You know? Okay. I definitely want to work on that because, you know, you're going to be my wife soon. You know what I'm saying? And I would love to do that for you and change as much as I can and keep growing in all the ways you need me to grow. Thank you, baby. Of course. Team us. Team us. I wish our wedding rings were on these sides so when we locked in, you could see it. I know, right? Okay, we could do it. (laughs) (laughs) So what is something on a more positive note? Okay. What is what are you looking forward to the most about being married? Um, split in the money. <laughs> what? Yeah. I know you lying. I want to split that money. You want to split the money? Mm-hmm. That's a totally different energy than you was on before on our <laughs> one of our other podcasts cuz about marriage. No, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. The more I think First of all, we split our money now. You know what I'm saying? Like, we split the money we make together. Together. Now. Oh, so when we're married, that's what I say. I still stand. I need to do more research. Mm-hmm. I do need to do more research. Once I do more research on how this marital proposal, <laughs> wedding, engagement type of stuff goes when we sign the papers. 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 Yes, mm-hmm. I need to know exactly what I'm getting myself into because. So you know, are we gonna like have a prenup, like or what? What's mine is mine, and what's yours is yours. Isn't that what I said in that podcast? That's what, you said. That's what I said. Mm. I still think we should sign a prenup. I think we should only because, you know, you 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 make your money, I'm making my money. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to take anything away from you. God forbid if anything ha- happens. I and I feel like people do that out of spite. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But if we have something like our like we do have our joint business, I still think that that belongs to us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Whatever money we make together, we have our joint account. Here, hold you this make, for me real quick. Hold that for me. That <sighs> it's too heavy, so It's too heavy. <laughs> no, I mean, take it off and hold it for me real quick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why you do that? I didn't get it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't you get didn't it. get it? No. Because you're saying we had to sign a prenup, so I'm like, take the ring off. Well. Take it off of me. Oh, like you don't want to marry yes. me? Yes. Oh, oh, man. It's just, okay. Okay. I'm I'm like, <laughs> wait, wait over your head. <laughs> okay, All right. got it. Um, but no, I mean, we've talked about it. You, you agree to, right? I think I agree that we'll come up with our own terms and we'll sign that. I don't know, but yeah. what I don't know how a prenup works. Like, if, do you get to come up with what uh, things are in the prenup mm-hmm. or whatever? I think we'll sit down and come up with like what we're both comfortable with, and right. I'm sure we'll come to agreement with that. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's like us creating our own contract for think, marriage too. Exactly. Yeah. And wait, what? What? We already gay. What kind of fucking marriage proposal papers do they have? We can get married. Two women can get married in California. Oh, they did pass that yeah. law. They but did. we we gon' whatever. We, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Your I think, eyes are so pretty. Thank you. Yeah. I think that we'll figure out what works for us, and right. that's really what it boils down to. Okay. So wait, what are you doing? We're we're there. We're at we're at the 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 what the is altar. it called? The altar. <laughs> we're at the altar. Somebody says, or the priest. Are we getting a priest? I don't know. Are we gonna have a priest? I don't think so. We're gonna have somebody that like says our things, but I don't think it's gonna be. Wait, a priest. does a priest even marry? They probably gay wouldn't. Do we get a I gay priest? It. Do we get a lesbian? Do we get a stud? <laughs> Do we get a stud? We I don't know. But anyway, if if and when when we get married, 
and we have a stud, a lesbian, a, a bulldogger, whatever we have <laughs> marrying us, what are you doing if somebody stands up and says, I object? What do you do? When doing? they say the speak now or forever hold your peace? Yeah. What, do you, what would you do? I take it off my earrings, take it off my heels. I'm going to beat your ass because we spent too much on this wedding for you to mess it up. Uh-uh. And Jazz is going to be like, that's okay, best friend. Hold on. I got this. I got this. <laughs> Jasmine, Honestly, I think they would get jumped by everybody there. I can't imagine one person not beating their ass. Yeah, can Jazz, you? Jazz for sure is going to be the first person, I think. But this can is, you imagine your mom, my mom, my sister, your, my brother? Like Everybody like, oh, hell your no. Your brother. Who this bitch? Who would it be? Grandma Connie. Oh, Grandma like, Connie's going crazy. No one would do that. No, no but nobody, nobody would. would do that because they, they're not stupid. They're not but, dumb. yeah, that would be literally comedy yeah that's crazy it would be comedy that's crazy uh, what would you do though you're beating the ass though yeah i'm on site I, i'm probably no i'm probably i don't honestly i have no idea well, like it all depends though i'm am i I'm, i might try to keep it cute so that like because if i mess up my hair and makeup then how we gonna you know what i'm saying we spent yeah. all this money for no reason so i'll probably try to keep it cute but like get this bitch out of here <laughs> quickly thanks. well it all guess depends though Wh- where would we be doing the wedding at is it, will it, are we going to go what we tell we want to do? Or are we going to stay? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, honestly, it's just not, that would not happen. Where that do you want to do the wedding, babe? We were, are we gonna tell we them or sell not? them? We want to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't no, think we should tell them yet. Because it might not happen. It might not happen. Yeah. I don't think we should tell them yet. Okay. But we do have some plans. Some plans. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I think the sun is baking her brain. <laughs> the you, sun is baking her brain, it's y'all. Baking and shaking. All shaking right. bake. What? What are we wearing to the wedding? Are we wearing traditional white? <laughs> are we wearing rainbow? What you know, no, we should wear white. We're wearing white. We're wearing traditional white. Even though we not virgins, we gonna wear white. Wait, what? What is what do you mean we're not virgins? What does that mean? So when you get married, you're supposed to wear white if you're pure, if you're a pure virgin. Wait, that's what that means? Yes. No fucking but listen, way. But listen, none of this shit makes sense. It we don't two, make sense. We two women marrying each other. Oh, you proposed shit. to me. I proposed oh, back. Damn. And you know, we, neither one of us is virgins. And, look, I mean, we listen. both been, you know. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. okay. You, you love I, to say you've been fucking this <laughs> What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. We've we, we, we been doing yeah. that. Yeah. We, uh, it's yeah. not, it's Ma- not yeah. traditional, but I'm going to wear white if I want to wear white. We should wear, let's wear black and green. No, the I'm wearing white. Colors. What? Let's wear <laughs> dookie green. <laughs> like what? Shitty gray. No. With a little hint of brown. All right. I think she's getting too okay. tired, y'all. <laughs> It's time to get up out this of this This is motherfucking heat. sun. God, yeah. Last gonna... time ever, ever we going to was a film in the sun. Next it time it's going to be in the shade. You got to be shade. Something in the shade. Baby, wait, wait, wait. wait. I have one more question. I have one more question. What's your question? What's your question? What is your... I'm going to your here. camera now. Huh. It's okay. Huh. It's okay. I'm here. Are you going to wear mm-hmm. a dress for when we get married? I mean, you did propose to me. And you did say that, you know, on your live stream that you want to make the stallion's body. So, Andy, what you trying to do? If I had made the stallion's body by the time we get married, I might have to do it. What really? A, what a tie, though. What, like a short tie? You've seen those cute little ties? Girl, I can't even imagine. You going to wear makeup? Yeah, a little, a little, a little, what's it called? Foundation. foundation. You're not going to get a little, uh, 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 little lash. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I probably, you know, look good as fuck. I have a six pack by then. Manifesting it now. The summer is literally right around the corner. So <laughs> We're in freaking carbs. Come <laughs> <laughs> still fucking fat. Fuck. I'm not. Damn it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. You can run home. I'll drive the Corvette. How about that? <laughs> Stop. Okay. All right, y'all. Just Thank between. You. Just between. All right. Just between. Stop. 
We gotta get out of this sun. She's delusional. I'm about to get the fuck out. Baby, (laughs) sign off. All right, right, y'all. This was so much fun. We had an amazing time chit-chatting with you guys about our engagement. Kickling and cackling. Kickling and cackling. And yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Spotify, Apple Music, and all that so you do not miss an episode. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> tap 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 in with us. We love y'all. Like subscribe, gang, 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 gang. And we out. To the loo, motherfuckers. <laughs>